Okay, hello all you people out there, this is Michael of the Two and a Half Seeds, and this is something that I've seen come up quite a bit in uh, Game Maker internetness, if that's even a word. Now, it's the subject of RPGs. As you can see here on the screen, I have this little crazy, amazing looking player object, and this red dot that is apparently supposed to be an enemy or something like that. And you run into the enemy and you die, and if I'll restart that because that's actually not what I wanted to do. Um, if you, uh, hit the space bar, you'll fire those attractive uh, black missile bullet looking objects and um, you can kill the enemy and stuff, I don't know what that it's even supposed to be uh, a laser beam or something, but uh, it's pretty simple you have HP, uh, when you collide with the enemy you lose a little bit of HP uh, when the enemy collides with one of those blob square things they lose HP um, it's pretty simple. Now, RPGs, as I understand them, uh, there's a couple components to them, like the tendency to uh, be centered around a plot, assuming you're not talking about Pokemon, and the ability to explore a world map and visit towns and talk to people and have an inventory and all that kind of crazy stuff. Um, I'm not really going to get into that very much because um, there's a lot of ways that you can go about doing that sort of thing. Although, if people want me to, I probably can next time I have a... Now our free time, but leveling, uh, that's something that's pretty central to all RPGs as I understand it. Um, you have uh, a player who often starts out at, say, a lower level, and they have HP and offenses and defenses probably, and whatever stats they have uh, at, that'll be based on the level, and that's what I'm going to be focusing on here. So, uh, let's see. Right now you have an immediate... I can. I actually realized, uh, or remembered rather recently, that you can increase the text size in uh, Game Maker's IDE. It'll probably be easier to read for recording a video of it. But I have HP equals 50 hard-coded for the player. So if I wanted to add a level, I would probably do something like... Uh, I'm sitting in the dark and I can't see my keyboard. Uh, level equals, say, 1. Because you probably start out with that. And you're going to have experience. So I'm just going to say XP because I'm lazy. Uh, I would say EXP, but that's the, uh, that's the name of a function for uh, powers in Game Maker, so I can't really use that. And I'm going to say that equals, I don't know, 1, because you start out there, why not? And see, also, instead of saying uh, HP there, it's going to be based on the level here. So there's a couple ways that you can go about doing this. You could, say, build a table, and it's, uh, I don't know, XP of 0 equals 0 and XP of uh, level 1 is going to be 1 and XP of level 2 is going to be, I don't know, 10 or something like that. But that's a pain in the butt. It's hard coding stuff. It kind of wastes some um, waste typing and it's not that efficient. Uh, plus it has a limit of the level being whatever the size of your uh, table is. But we're going to say instead um, HP is going to be defined by a function, and that's going to pay, be, say, I don't know, the level times 10 plus 5. I think that's what it is in the Paper Mario series. I'm not completely sure about that. Uh, Alright, so that's that. Um, I could be all really fancy and make your attack power and stuff, but I want to keep this video short, and I think I have one example here. I don't need to do another one. Uh, you can mess around with that on your own later. And... The enemy, uh, it depends on, some RPGs do this, some don't uh, have different levels of enemies, some of them have different types of uh, enemies that simply have uh, different inherent stats. Uh, I want to say like Earthbound and Golden Sun, although I don't really know the mechanics of uh, Earthbound that well since I've never played it. Or you could have your enemies being varying levels as well, like Pokemon. Um, because, once again, because I want to keep this short, uh, relatively short anyway, and you already saw what I'm doing here with the level. I won't be doing that. Uh, instead, when an enemy dies, you should be getting experience. And I'm going to be saying, let's uh, put this in block quotes because we now need those because we have more than one statement in here. Player, that's the name of the player object in case you didn't notice, uh, dot xp plus equals 5, let's say. And then we can say, uh, uh, how to put this? We're gonna want the player to recalculate their um, their level every time they gain experience to see whether or not they'll get a level up or whatever. So we'll say with 
uh, player. Uh, we're going to make up this little function called... So uh, that's showing an error because we don't have a function named that yet, the keyword being yet. Uh, we have in here this fancy crazy ability in GameMaker to make our own functions, scripts, methods, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you came from and what your programming background is. I'm assuming you have one if you're, uh, if you're still watching this video. <clears throat> but what did I call it? Calculate level. I'm usually faster at typing than this, but I just came out, I just came in from outside, my fingers are cold, so. Yeah, we're just gonna say, um, we're just gonna write that little help line there just in case, uh, for whatever reason you forget what function's supposed to be, what the argument it takes is, and, uh, if it returns a value or not. Anyway, enough of that. Um, how to make the player decide what level they're supposed to be based on the amount of experience they have. So, this is where the, uh, some semi, not really advanced math comes in. The experience function, uh, whatever you want that to be. So, I'm assuming most people who play video games are at least somewhat familiar with this. Uh, Pokemon especially, they have the function that tells how much experience you have at any given level. And I'll throw, like, a graphic of that up on the screen right now. Um, you can make it as complicated or simply as you want. Um, the only thing, the only restriction on this is it should be uh, continuously increasing because then you're gonna have, if it's not increasing, if it's like a, uh, I don't know, x to the third minus x squared or whatever, I don't remember exactly, it's gonna have like a dip in it and you're suddenly going to discover at one level that uh, you already have enough experience for the next level because the, uh, the graph has taken a downwards turn. But I'm just going to make this really simple and say experience equals uh, level to the third or something like that. Alright, so that's pretty simple. Experience is level to the third. Now, to take that in the reverse, you will want to find the inverse of that function. Uh, the inverse is being the technical name. That's Algebra 2, I suppose, so it's not quite as bad as the trigonometry I usually like to cite in these videos. The inverse of that is going to be level equals, um, you'll want the third root, since, um, the original function is level to the third, but I don't think GameMaker provides one of those, so we're just gonna have to say, uh, the square, the, the, um, third root of a number is the same thing as raising that number to the power of, uh, one third, so we can say power of, uh, level, no, experience, and, uh, one divided by three. Alright, so, um, we're not quite done with that. We'll want to round that down as well, so you won't be getting a crazy, um, uh, like your level being a decimal, like, uh, I don't know, 5.3 or whatever. I'm just making up my numbers there. So, floor to round down. So, that'll just take a pretty much the integer part of the, um, of whatever the third root is and just give us that instead of uh, the decimal. Alright, so that's that. We'll also want to say, uh, adjust your HP, although here it's a little bit, uh, weird because if I were to just say, uh, HP equals, what was it originally, 10 times, uh, level plus 5, yeah, that sounds about right. You'd be recalculating your HP every time you kill an enemy, so if you have, like, so if you don't have full health when you kill an enemy, then it would, uh, automatically send you back up to the maximum HP for your level. So we don't want to quite do that. Instead, I'll say, I don't know, uh, just set a, a true or false variable level up. Good, I spelled that right. And it'll be, uh, I could do a, uh, a Boolean expression, but I don't really want to. If, and we're going to copy that and move it over here. If that value is greater than level, then you have leveled up, leveled up equals true, else level up equals false. So now we can say if uh, level up, for the sake of being uh, clear about what I'm doing here, I'll just say equals equals true, even though you don't really have to, then you're just going to be... Uh, saying that, indent that a little bit, recalculate your HP, uh, you get the maximum, and you're going to be running that, so resetting the level. 
Um, this is a little bit roundabout of how to do it, but it's uh, it does work. Uh, I suppose I could also say level plus equals one plus equals one. I told you I can type today. Uh, I can always type. In every single one of these game maker videos, I've had s a bunch of really stupid looking typos. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, uh, yeah. I thought that didn't work quite right. So we're going to be, uh, not that. Control V, not just V. Uh, we're going to be wanting to, um, reset the HP after you increment the level, or else you're, uh, not really going to get anywhere. Uh, also, what the crap is with that level 9 thing? That's not what, uh, that's not what the variable is called. All right. Am I ever going to get through one of these Game Maker videos without making some crazy type I wonder? Um, let's see, why am I in here? Oh, let's see, is this, no, I don't think, uh, based on the current, um, the current experience function, I don't think that's going to get us to the next level. Uh, the difference between 2 to the 3rd and 1 to the 3rd is a uh, minimum of 7 experience points, so I'm just going to say plus equals like 10 or something. And that should, uh, that should be enough, because otherwise you wouldn't have had the level up and, uh, graphically nothing else would have happened. Speaking of graphically, uh, let's also go and draw some more text on the screen, and we're going to be saying level there, and let's move it up a little bit. And so that we know what this number means, uh, we're going to be putting that on the screen. And because it's going to take me like five seconds, I'm going to be drawing that on the screen too. And we are going to be starting the game, shooting our little laser at the enemy. Alright, perfect. So uh, our level went up by 1, or HP went up by 10, because uh, 10 times 2 plus 5 is 25. Everything's working fine. Uh, if I were to put more enemies on the screen and uh, kill them sequentially, you would see that um, I would gain more levels and my HP would keep going up at that same rate. Other stuff I could do, uh, like I said before, you can, if you want, you can make a bigger, uh, larger um, set of stats like attack, power, and defense, and uh, even magic attack and magic defense and whatever, if you're uh, feeling bored or run speed, if you want to like make it easier to walk around the overworld as you gain levels or whatever. But I'm not going to do that. Um, same with the enemies, you could do that. You could make one type of enemy with one um, set of, say, base stats and have the stats vary based on the level instead of creating multiple types of enemies with similar stats that are just more increasingly difficult. Uh, speaking of base stats, if you really wanted to, you could uh, incorporate, say, more something more complicated into here. So you could say, like, level to the three halves plus half level or something like that, I don't know. But, yeah, um, that's all I can think of for here. If you want me to talk about any other concepts in uh, RPGs to deal with, I already did like NPCs and text boxes a little while ago. Uh, I'll put an annotation link to that on the screen right now, I suppose. Uh, inventory, that's more complicated. There's more ways you can go about doing that. Uh, but I could, uh, I could probably make a video dealing with that too. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed that. Rate, comment, subscribe, watch some other stuff I've uploaded, and I will see you later. Oh, and um, I should probably mention this in the video instead of like in an annotation again. But this works for both uh, GameMaker 8.1 standard and um, free as well as both studio standard and free. I'll put the download link to this same file in the video description so you can go mess around with it. But yeah, signing off for real this time.